Hello there, and a very good morning to you on this Thursday morning, which is cold outside. There are showers lurking out there as well. Now, the reason why we have both is because of the position of the wind. It's coming in from the Arctic, dragging in very cold air, and then flowing over a relatively warm sea. The air becomes unstable, and that's the reason why we do have showers, which will develop inland through the next 12 hours. However, notice towards the west, high pressure casting an influence across the country through Thursday into Friday will lose the strength of the wind and the distribution of the showers will change. For the time being though, if you are stepping out, it's cold outside. You can see that wind streaming down, delivering those showers, Northern Ireland, central and northern areas of Scotland, the North Channel, Irish seacoast, even pushing inland across Wales, as well as the West, West Country. Now towards the east, one or two showers clipping the east coast here and that cold, biting wind. However, inland, it's a bright start to the day, a fairly quiet one, but it is chilly. We've even seen a touch of grass frost in the south and a touch of air frost in the north across one or two glens of Scotland. Now through this morning, you can see the wind is still uh, it's got some strength to it, particularly across the north coast, the northeast coast of Scotland, running down the North Sea. Now these showers will develop inland, and again we could see one or two heavy ones. We saw hail, thunder and lightning yesterday, and that still could be the case today, but they're a little bit more scattered. Even so, they could cluster together through the morning into the afternoon, just running down from the north. Now, inland, where we see some brighter weather, temperatures could reach around 14 or 16 across England and Wales, but still struggling and exposed to the wind, it's going to feel cold, 10 or even 11 degrees Celsius. So that's this afternoon into evening time. Temperatures falling away even more so through Thursday evening and overnight. Now, we'll see some starry skies. Any showers, again, tending to fade away, particularly inland. And notice across the far north of Scotland, the wind direction does change, and we lose the sting in the wind. But temperatures really taking a tumble through the early hours of Friday morning. So expect a frost in the north, particularly in the countryside, and even some isolated frost further south in the towns and cities. Temperatures dipping as low as around two or three degrees Celsius. So it is a cold start to the day. So wrap up warm if you're heading out and about. At least though it's a quiet morning with some sunshine. Still a few showers around across the far north. One or two just about clipping the East Anglia coast down towards the southeast, but mostly dry here. And then thickening cloud brings out breaks of rain towards Northern Ireland as we head through the afternoon. Now temperatures will be up a notch, 13 to 17 degrees Celsius and warmer still on Saturday. There'll be more in the way of cloud around and by this point cloud and rain will have arrived across more northern and western areas pushing ever southwards and that means showers in the north on Sunday, rain straddling the central part of the country and some sunshine in the south. Have a lovely day. I'll see you again soon.